so everything is trimmed up and lovely I went ahead and kept these they're not even on my property but I kind of like them they look like baby's breath and it gives this raggedy little area a little oomph oomph uh, let me move my little thingy over there are grass clippings in there it's a little overcast so it's barely breathing I want to find something cute to hang on here but y'all see the difference now my pot is showing I need to rinse it off because it has grass clippings everywhere but look at my purple heart the little flowers are all out guys it is so amazeballs so amazeballs these are the extras that uh, we cut off yesterday that are gonna end up um, in new pots I went ahead and put my little spider plant out here on one of my little macrame doohickeys. This is actually a new addition and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, but I still got a little cleanup to do. I need to find a home for my lemons. This is what I got going on in, in gnome land. This is what I've done so far. This also plays, I'm trying to stoop guys, sorry the noise. This also plays into something we're going to talk about in a little bit. But I went ahead and, and decorated my little houses with some gnomies. And this is what it's doing so far. Instead of those bricks as fences, I want to find some cute little wood. Um, but um, I haven't been able to find anything that I think would work to scale to make a little fence around their little abode. I went ahead and moved all of my little tiles and my little glazed animals to the actual wall instead of the dirt back there because they kept tipping over anytime it rained hard. There's my little uh, basil being basilicious. Even my little flower pot here has bloomage. But yeah, I just thought it would be a little more sturdy here here's my mama bird and her babies next to this tile this is the tile that didn't have uh, a little animal I gotta come and say good morning or good afternoon to them all look at this guys my friends who I hadn't seen in the last few weeks because I've been feeling like doo-doo uh, came over yesterday and they bought me a pepper plant in that sweet I think it's a he said sweet pepper oh it's it's one of the ones that I just bought a gypsy sweet pepper so they got me that so I need to repot that I need to get rid of all this in the back I kind of like these because these little wild whatever this is grows these little white fronds these little white flowers I kind of think it's pretty but I might leave that I'm not sure but <laughs> There's my makeshift yellow thing doing it the most. Here are my Coreopsis. This is one of the Coreopsis that I got. Um, they're doing pretty okay. I cut off the dead heads as YouTube and the Google said. Look at my baby squash. Oops. See, something. There are shenanigans happening out here. But there are... Um, there's my baby squash. I call this the baby squash because it's really small. It was really small. It was the baby of the two, but that's doing its thing. Yeah, something's happening back here because I had mounted this um, yesterday and now it's on the ground. But you guys, you guys, I want to show you something. I'm going to, I'm going to stoop so you guys can see. I am the proud mama of my first zucchini. Look at that zucchini growing in, guys. I'm so excited and I have a few more little girls in there that are gonna become zucchinis. And my jalapenos are doing their jalapeno best. They're starting to, uh, I know I saw one in here somewhere. Was it this one? Oh, it was this one. They're all in, in, at, at stages of, see it? They're all at stages of growth, guys. I'm so excited. Uh, but yes, I have to come out here and check on my babies and say good morning to them. I did have to restake the tomato plant because it was kind of leaning over. So I just linked those little things and straightened it up. But look at my maters, guys. My maters are finally coming in. You see all the clusters? They're everywhere, guys. They're everywhere. Look at that. Look at that. This little sucker's going to give mama lots of maters. I'm so excited. So happy. My mint is just beautiful. Oh, and let's take a look at this, guys. Finally, you guys, my Mexican petunia is starting to bloom. There's his first 
beautiful official one. There's a little tired looking one over here. I'm not sure what's going on with this one. It looks a little, a little uh, over life. But look, I finally have little flowers that are going to come out. But I'm so excited. There's the, 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 what is this? The cat weed, the catnip. There's my other Coryopsis. And, uh, this is the aloe that I told you guys was doing really, really bad. It had turned yellow. It's actually turning green again. So I'm hoping this comes back to life to something. Here's the gypsy pepper that I purchased. Um, and I just moved it because I don't know what I'm doing wrong life-wise or whatever. Uh, so hopefully it has, uh, hopefully it likes this better, this, this spot. But moving on, there's more of my purple heart here's my little peppers from seed that again i'm moving them around as well because i don't know so i've repotted them you know i put them in little pots and i'm hoping that would help but something is definitely getting to them so i'm gonna have to spray them real quick with my little vinegar mixture there's another coreopsis these two are ready to be deadheaded you see those scraggly ones but um Oh, another one that needs to be deadheaded. But I don't know why I gravitated towards yellow all of a sudden. Um, more of my purple heart. I want to find something cute to hang from these little hooks. Uh, probably at the Dollar Tree or Thrift. I'm not sure. There's another one of my jalapenos. And look at this baby. Look at this lovely baby. Let me tell you guys, I had so much help yesterday in this friggin' yard. Little dude did the most little dude was the best but i had to come out here and check on them um and sneak a peek a -loo and say hello to my little babies but we are headed out i did not do my poof i am not complete without my poof on top but anywho we are headed out um i gotta go to uh um Hi. Target. I gotta go to Target and pick up a few things there. Then I may have to swing to Walmart and pick up a few things there. But we're kind of in and out of the house, in and out of the house as I'm feeling better, you guys. Y'all must have been praying for me. Let me tell y'all. Hey, y'all been praying for me? I think y'all been praying for me because I feel a lot better. I still have my twinges. I'm still not, you know, I'm not gonna push myself. I still have to be careful how I get up and all that, but I am not crying, guys. I am able to walk. I'm able to function. Yesterday after all the yard work little dude put in we went out i got out of the house and we went to um carl's right we went to carl's and we ate and um then we had uh, our friends come over so it was it was my first time out among the living where i wasn't in severe severe pain and today woke up feeling pretty okay and did some running around and now we got to do a little more running around but i had to be sure to give myself some rest time in between i came home and took some dope uh and we're headed out to do the rest of the stuff that needs to be done today but i'll see you guys in a little bit so we got all of our errands run and when we came back around the corner, we saw that the neighbor with the yard sale put out more stuff. Now there is one of those foldable portable tables that I've been wanting from Walmart, but I'm cheap and I don't want to spend $30 on. And if my back weren't jacked up, I swear me and a little dude would drag that sucker home, but we'd have to anyway, because it's not going to fit in the car even if we drove around but we're walking back around the corner to see what new goods they have and I might have spoke a little too soon about the backache because me and my stubborn my me and my stubborn ways as soon as I start to feel better I push myself so uh I'm getting a few twinges but it's not it's not spasms so we're good. We're enjoying this little walk around the corner. And I'm not going to film there because I don't know how they'll feel about that. But I did find some things already I'm going to show you guys. So we'll see what we come across this go around.
went through all of these. Isn't that cute? Staple gun. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, that's a staple gun. Look at the little tool belt. Can you hold the bear? Look at this nifty little tool belt. Little tool pouch. It's very small. It would not fit around all my girth. So it turns out that table I wanted was not for sale. It's her display table. Duh. But we're heading back around the corner to home. I'm gonna put away my groceries and that kind of stuff. Baby, look, Lucky Penny. It's really ratty though. You want it? No. Um, what does it say? Pennies from heaven. I have seen white butterflies, a red robin, and now a penny from heaven. So if you believe in all that stuff about those departed sending you signs, I'd, I believe in that. But uh, let me get home. We do have some Black Friday stuff to show you guys, which is what I hinted to in the beginning when I was walking you guys around outside. Um, picked up a few <laughs> random trying to be mother nature things at Target for the birds. There's that little white butterfly. Where is it? See? See? It's been flitting around all day. But uh, yeah, and a couple other little things to show you. But let me get situated. Okay, I am back in, all the groceries are put away, all the household stuff is put away, and I'm sitting here trying to relax because yeah, I pushed myself a little too hard, but you guys, I feel nowhere as bad as I have for the last week. I feel more human, I feel a little more normal. We got into some normal kind of things today, uh, but like I said earlier, I'm hard-headed, I'm cabezuda, word of the day, cabezuda, hard-headed. Um, I pushed myself a little too far, probably shouldn't have, but it's okay. It's so early enough in the day that I can get in some relaxing time, a nice hot bath, and just wind down. And I'm looking forward to being able to be 99.999% better. Tomorrow, I can get back into the whole reality adulting thing. But for right now, let me show you guys the few little things that I picked up earlier this morning. I got up um, early-ish uh, and little dude was up and I had to go to the bank and I had to do a little bit of running around. So we went ahead and went to the, we went ahead and went to the bank, went to the bank. We went ahead and gone to the, we went to the bank. Um, and then on the way home, we passed Black Friday. So I'm like, he loves Black Friday. I love Black Friday. I'm like, let's see if my butt can hang a little bit. You know, I'm feeling pretty darn okay. I mean, you guys, I got up out of bed with no twinges. I got up real slow because that's just what I'm used to. But I got up and was able to get up straight, like pretty normal, no shooting pains. I was like, what the heck? I walked down the stairs really carefully. I put it around the kitchen, washed a few dishes, and my back was fine. So I'm like, okay. Because yesterday I felt better, much better. Today I felt even that much better. So I'm like, I think I'm on the mend, hopefully. Uh, I do think those two days of just laying flat, being in bed, sleeping, letting little dude take over the yard yesterday. He did so well. Exhausted, but he did so well. Um, I think it helped. I think it helped my body get back into some kind of healing. So anyway, today went to the bank, went to Black Friday and found some amazing things, guys. I'm gonna start off with the best find, okay? If you are my friend on Facebook, you've already seen it, okay? You've already seen it, but I got such a kick out of this. Y'all know I love Halloween. Y'all know I love uh, finding these awesome uh, costumes at yeah. Black Friday. And I found a really good one. So what? Look. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Yeah. about that I went ahead and took the batteries out because I don't want them to corrode I'm going to store them in a bin with my other inflatable alien and some other inflatables that I have found there for four dollars come on guys so I'm super duper excited I was so happy about that purchase it just brought out the little kid in me as y'all could see and yeah little dude pretty much put up with his goofy mama but I love it and then along the Halloween uh, realm of it all I found another banner this one says friends, as in friends the show, that's the gist, but it's all these scary dudes. Now, I didn't think we, I know we don't have room for it, and I put it back and I'm like, no. Because I know somebody who had asked me if I could find one similar to the one uh, with all the scary movie guys on it, and I couldn't, I never could find another one of those. So I'm hoping that she will like this one instead. Um, um. Because I think it's just as awesome. It's funny as heck. And it has all the main scary guys. So I think I'm going to send this her way. If she would like that one in lieu of the other one. And then I found this awesomeness. It is so funny guys. It's an apron. It says funny apron. And let me show you guys what it says. When I read this I'm like this is so neat. Brand new guys. Brand new. I don't know if they return them or if they don't sell. And these people sell to places like Black Friday. Not sure. But this was so me. Don't worry, I can do this. I watched a YouTube video and it's an apron so stinking cute. Look at this guys. It has this little um it's the snap uh the snap attachment which I prefer uh, over the one that you have to tie cuz sometimes I'll knot myself into a mess and it has three little adjusting uh snaps. So stinking cute. I do believe that waist is a tie though. Yeah, the waist is a tie. But isn't that the stinking cutest thing? And y'all know me. I run to YouTube whenever I need to fix something. So adorable. So that was four bucks. And I picked up a few things for outside. Um, I mentioned them earlier in the first part of the video when I was puttering around in the yard. I found some pretty things for my yard. So uh, let me show you that. got this beauty there were two of them but one was plastic and this one is metal and the sounds of this to me is just melody oh I love that sound so I showed you guys this little macrame plant holder earlier and I told you I would talk about it later on in the video well here we are later on now these came from Black Friday there's this one this one that's a little longer and the basket part's a little thicker and then this one it's uber long 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 and it has a little tasseled booty and your basket is held way down here but I thought those were amazing. I was looking for more. They were all separated. They were kind of scattered, so I assumed they had come in a set and people open the box, which they tend to do. Um, but I only found three, so I shoved them in an empty box and got all three for four. I also found these gorgeous yellow plastic flowers. There's six of them. They were wrapped up three in three, brand new in plastic. And I swear, guys, I think these are from Temu. Um, because they look, quality-wise, like the pink and red ones I got. And I think I've seen these on the Temu site. But I would have paid four and some cents coming through Temu. And I got these straight and clear for four. So four bucks for this gorgeous bunch of yellow flowers that I'm going to use somewhere out here. So I'm not sure where I want to use them because I hadn't made any plans for any extra flowers. And have y'all noticed I'm drawn to yellow all of a sudden? My fake lilies, the yellow coreopsis, and now these. I don't know what it is. But I want a variety of colors. So I know I don't want to put these in the back. What I was thinking was using some of them in my little boot back there 
maybe the small one is too small for it but maybe a few in my little boot i think that might be pretty and then i can find a place for my boot right now they're kind of hidden back there uh, but um i'll figure that out once i get back out here uh, i'm gonna pop me some more pink pills and come back out i did get a new bag of potting mix because my baby right here got flooded from the rain i forgot to move it before the rain was gonna come and the rain shoots directly from here right onto the poor thing and these plants do not like to be soaked um so i went ahead and drained it we tipped it over and let it drain all day yesterday and then we flipped it over this morning and i think i'm just going to top off the soil where it kind of blew off or you know fell out of the pot when i tried to drain it and then i have a coreopsis in the back that i didn't have quite enough soil for so i definitely needed this but let me show you guys the one thing I got at the garage sale, at the yard sale, for my yard. Okay, guys, I know this is supposed to be used, like, in a water feature um, to have, like, water trickling through maybe in a fountain. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to Google. But I'm assuming that the little splits right here and here are for water to run through or to make it look as if though it's coming up out of water. But I don't have a water feature that big. So I'm going to leave him here for now. But I stink and fell in love with him. I thought he was so awesome. And she sold it to me for five buckaroonies. He's a heavy guy too. But little dude helped me cart him and put him in the trunk. And now he's ours. So other than that, um, I did pick up a few extra things you guys might find interesting. Uh, at Walmart and Target uh, for the yard. Let's see. Let me make some room here. Now at Walmart, I was at a bird seed, and I couldn't find the brand that I usually buy, but I went ahead and bought this one, uh, because I've bought this brand before, but, oh crap, is it open? It's open! Oh no! Seeds everywhere. I thought I smelled sunflower seeds. Holy crap, it's open. There are seeds falling out everywhere. Anyway, it's this Texas wild bird seed. See, the little birds are feeming. The little birds are hurting. For some seeds, I kid you guys not, the little red cardinal that hangs around out here uh, on the back feeder, I swear that little booger will see me outside and he'll sit on, 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 on the feeder and stare like, what you waiting for? It's dinner time. He's done it like three times. I think it is so stinking amazing. Well, it's not really a red bird. He's, he's kind of tan colored with red tips on his wings and a red beak. It's not a whole red bird, but it's a, I call it a red bird because the majority of him, he has a lot of red in him. Really pretty bird. And he's out there all the time. But yeah, I get the feeling that he's out there like, hello, it's dinner time and you're asleep at the wheel. So yeah, I'm going to have to put that in the little plastic container that I usually keep my bird seed in because this sucker done popped open. I hope I didn't lose any. I know I lost some just now when I tried to lift it. I like the way this stuff smells, guys. It smells like sesame seeds. And I love me a sesame seed. But anyhow, I got some bird um, seed for the pajaritos. Other, second word of the day, pajarito, little bird. And then I have two uh, hummingbird feeders. I ain't never seen no hummingbird around here. Okay. Closest thing to a hummingbird I've seen around here is a bee. Maybe bees will enjoy the nectar of it all. But I have two hummingbird feeders. I put one over here on my birdie B&B, &B, uh, where my little bird house is, and... Uh, Bird feeders are, I'm getting the slightest little twinge. So if you hear my breath catching, that's what it is. Not a spasm, just a little twinge. Um, but uh, I put one little uh, hummingbird feeder right here. And then I have another really pretty glass one that I didn't want to put in the front in case somebody stole it. Um, but I'm going to put that one near my plants to welcome little birdies and maybe bees and butterflies. I don't know if butterflies will suck out of the little bird feeder. But I went, I found the perky pet. Um, concentrate nectar. Instant nectar concentrate. So I'm going to make them some Kool-Aid, basically, and pour it in the little bird feeders and see. I mean, heck, I don't know. I may attract uh, some hummingbirds. And then I got... I couldn't resist these. I don't know what the heck is happening to me with the gnomes. I'm slowly becoming a gnome chick, and I don't know how that happened, and I'm trying to curb it because... Y'all know my little yard is starting to look like Sanford and Son. I have a very collected backyard, back fence, okay? 
and my front is pretty much full of plants and I'm trying not to get too knick-knacky in the front because I don't want the city to come out and say can you tone it down uh, but that's where my gnomes ended up out there in the front and even though I do have a whole lot of stuff I think too many gnomes are tacky hold your judgment okay because some of y'all might be like Mel your whole freaking yard is tacky some of my newer viewers somebody who might have stumbled upon this video might think ew but anywho gnomes themselves are very, very cute but I think you can overkill on a gnome but I couldn't resist these that's what I was trying to say you can overkill on gnomes but these were so stinking cute these are five dollar cushions at Walmart look gnome sweet gnome aren't they stinking cute but that ain't the best part you guys they're friggin reversible Friggin' reversible if I don't want to do the gnome. Now, the two cushions that I currently have on my little seats up front, they stay muddy. Because when it rains, the downpour falls right there on my little table. Anything that's right there is going to get splattered. It's going to get soaked. It's going to um, get splashed with dirt and mud. And I can't keep those clean anymore. And they were a very, very pretty bright yellow. I've washed them. I've been outside with Dawn and the water hose and scrubbing them. And they come out real clean. I let them dry in the sun. And then the next pour down, they end up gross. Um... They end up gross and nasty. And I'm beginning to suspect that some of those spots are not mud. They may be mold or mildew. Uh, so I think I'm going to try and wash them one more time with Dawn. Um, and see if it is mud, dirt, or mildew. If it's mildew, I'm going to have to toss them. Um, but they've come clean every time I've done it. So, But I just haven't done it in a while because it keeps friggin' raining. But those have seen better days. What I'm going to do, if those come clean... I'm going to transfer those over to the little chairs where I currently have my little um, seedling pots on. I don't know why I do that. Um, I'm going to clear those little chairs off and set the um, two yellow cushions there. And then because this has some yellow in it, still incorporating the yellow, I'm going to set the gnome. I got two of them. It's over there. Can't reach. I'm going to set the gnomes on those seats. And hopefully I can keep track of the rain, the weather. And if I see that it's going to start to rain, I just remove them because I don't want them all damaged. But I think, no, 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 that's not all I got there. And then I did pick up, speaking of gnomes, I picked up uh, four little bags of these peach rocks. Because you guys uh, remember I have two little red wagons that I have little gnomes on. And in the past I've done succulents and pebbles and stuff like that on there. Um, I need to get those done. Because every time it rains they fill up with water. And I don't know what was going on out there last night. Something or someone. I'm going to say something. It would be in my yard. Rodney the raccoon, Peter the possum, or Martin himself was out there and knocked over a bunch of crap. But um, these are going to go some kind of way in there um with with my little gnomes and then at target for that specific little project i found these little bags full of succulents for three dollars so you get one two three piece a three piece succulent for three bucks i thought that was really cool because even at dollar tree they're a dollar 25 so i got three for three i mean yeah three for three and those are going to be used in my little wagons outside uh, is that everything? I think that's everything. That's all we've been up to today. Uh, aside from my mommy duty stuff and house stuff. I got laundry to sort. Laundry to do. I'm going to try and do some laundry. Um, but that's it. Um, I want to get outside here in a little bit. Like I said, just to level off the soil and some of the pots. Find a place for those pretty yellow flowers. I want to go restuff the pots with the pink and red flowers that I got from Timu the other day. Remember, I wanted to fill those pots up with just a few more little flowers. I want to do that. And I want to judge up the little wagons um, with my uh, for my little gnomes. But the sun came back out. It got dark again. I'm like, oh gosh, we're going to get rain. It's supposed to rain again this week. It's supposed to rain again this week. Uh, but I thought it was going to start raining here in just a little bit. But Oh no, that's not everything, guys. Hold on a second. Because as soon as I started talking about rain, I was about to say I hope the lady gets all her stuff in from the garage sale because I thought it was going to start to rain. Let me show you guys the garage sale stuff. So I already showed you the alligator, crocodile, whatever outside. Let me show you the rest of the stuff. Okay, so what I will say about this lady is I don't know how long she's lived there because I didn't recognize her. But you've heard me say that a lot of people around here rent or lease. So, And I kind of tend... To my own business 
Uh, I don't go out of my way to be unfriendly, but I also don't go borrow sugar or let anybody borrow sugar, if y'all know what I mean, because people are crazy nowadays and you just don't know. But um, they're around the corner, um, and I don't recognize them. But anyway, what I can tell you about them is they have cats. I have cats. If you have cats, then you know when someone has cats. Not necessarily because they're dirty or anything, just because you just know. Now, I'm pretty sure they had more than one cat, okay? Now, y'all saw she had DVDs, 10 for a dollar. Y'all know me. So I found 10. Snow White. I don't have Snow White. I have Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Powder. These smell a little suspect, like... I don't know, like they were in a room where cats hung out, or not sure. But these are definitely uh, going to have to be sanitized. I'm going to have to sanitize the whole dang table, honestly, because it's just obvious. I can't tell you what the smell is, but I know it's cats. Um, powder. Me and my sister used to watch that like crazy back in the HBO was new days. Mummy Returns. I love the mummy. I don't have the mummy returns, but I do love mummy returns. I love all the Narnias, but I don't have Voyage of the Dawn Treader. I do not. This was a blast of the past. Another summer guilt. Another summer. Um, uh, uh, um, junk movie for me and my sister back in the day. Ali Sheedy made to order. She goes from rich to uh, 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 zilch. Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp. I've never seen the Johnny Depp one. I've seen the Johnny Depp, um, what is it, the Willy, Willy Wonka, but I've never seen the Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp. Doc Hollywood, which I finally only watched for the first time this year, guys. I loved it. I thought it was such a stinking good movie, so I got Doc Hollywood. Ghost Rider, because we are huge Nick Cage fans. I do not have this in my Nick Cage collection, because I only currently started collecting Nick Cage movies, even the horrible ones. Uh, but Little Dude has heard of this movie, has seen parts of it on YouTube. And when he saw it, he was like, oh my gosh, is that the one with the lit up uh, skeleton? I said, uh-huh. So we got that. Now I hear this movie is terrible. And I think I might have gotten this at the dollar store or at a thrift store. But I might have put it back. I'm not sure. But I remember contemplating on this movie, Season of the Witch. I don't care if it sucks. It's Nick Cage. And then another one that me and my sister would watch like crazy in the summertime is the Kevin Costner Robin Hood. So I got all those. And let me put them back in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to really lice all the snot out of this table. But that's, uh, of the purchases, this is the only thing that gave that you got cats vibe i'm telling you i think she may have stored this stuff somewhere so i got that bag i got the crocodile and i got a hammer and it was like seven dollars so it was seven dollars because the hammer was a dollar and then that was it for that then when we came home, they were still out there. And like I said, it looked like they had put out more things. So it was four. It was a little after four. And she's like, we're about to shut it down at five. We're trying to get rid of as much as we can get rid of. Uh, so if you can fill a bag, you can have a whole bag for four dollars. I'm like, really? She said, yes. And if you need more bags, just go ahead and uh, ask me for more bags. Now, she'd been pretty picked over. But I found a bag. Excuse me. I'm so thirsty. I didn't want to touch my bottle cap with my cat hand. So I had to use a napkin. Okay, so this bag was $4. Okay. I found this little thing. I thought it was a coupon container, but it's not. It's just a little blank. Is it blank? I don't know. Yeah. It's just a little blank notepad, stationary pad, but it's like pleather or leather. And it ties with this pretty little leather leaf. I thought this was really cute. She had a box full of um, bags, but I couldn't stoop down. I'd already stooped down to dig through the movies, and that's when this started again. So, yeah, I wasn't about to stoop down. Um, but it's this cute little drawstring 
leather pouch thing, pouch purse. I don't know if it's real leather or not. I think I saw a tag inside that says real leather. I don't know. It says Universal Thread Goods Company. It feels like real leather, but it smells nice. It doesn't smell kitty cat like. So I'll put that in the box, in the bag. This purple hand mirror. I need to be careful because I keep almost poking myself with this. This knife, I don't need another one, but I like how the handle is bolted into the, the knife is bolted into the handle and it's pretty sharp. You can tell it's been around a while. You can tell it's been sharpened quite often, but it's a sharp little knife. So I went ahead and got that. I could not leave these behind. Now I looked at these the first time that I was there, but I'm like, girl, you don't need these. But I'm going to take some um, sandpaper or steel wool to them and try and get the rest off. I don't think I'm going to use them. But look at these vintage kitchen utensils. I'm assuming this is a cheese grater. You know, you, you do this maybe. I don't know what this is for. But I'm assuming it's some kind of cheese grater. I don't think it's a vegetable peeler. But it has little blades in there. So I think it's to slice cheese. This little potato ridger or just, you know, you can cut your carrots or potatoes or cucumbers or whatever to give you these cute little ridges. Now, this one's going to be hard to clean. It looks like at one point it was silver over metal and, you know, over the years and all. But it's the handles, guys. It's these hand-painted metal handles. Even if I don't use them, these are definitely going to go on display somehow, somewhere in my kitchen. These are too cute. And then the only other one is this one. It's an old-timey can opener. Y'all remember when you used to have to open the cans, pop them open, go around, go around, go around, go around. It's one of them. My grandma used to have one of these. Now, I don't know what this is for. Do y'all know anybody? It has this little movable pokey thing. I'm pretty sure it's to poke a can or is this to go over the top and go around. I'm not sure. You guys tell me how how to use it. If you all are familiar. If you guys remember this. But I just think they're so stinking awesome. I grabbed that. Found this cute little bear. This little carved bear. And I'd seen him the first time and left him. But I went ahead and got him. I found these itsy bitsy little scissors. That I'm going to put in my um, sewing kit. I have some. But they're real flimsy from the dollar store. And the little dollar kits are real thin. These are substantial little snips. They're probably for nose hairs, for all I know. I don't know. Don't they look like nose hair clippers? But I'm going to use them in my um, in my sewing kit. The only reason we got this is because little dude thinks it's hilarious that everywhere we go, whether it's a thrift store, whether it's a store store, whether it's a garage sale, yard sale, flea market, these are everywhere. He's like, Mom, what is it with these? They're all over the place. And he always grabs one. And he saw it there. I'm like, here's another one. I said, do you want one of them things for something? And he's like, yeah, why not? So we grabbed it. It's a whim. I know. It's a whim thing. Then I found a glass ashtray. It's glass. Y'all know I collect these. I don't know how. I don't know why. But this is going to go in my bedroom. And I currently have a few that somehow is working out that they're nestled into each other they're nested into each other and i think this is going to nestle into another one that i have up there i just like the way it looks i think it's pretty and then the only other thing in this box was this little doohickey look at that cute hello hello would you like an hors d'oeuvre would you like an hors d'oeuvre or you could put your olives and you know little uh, uh condom um what are you, your olives and your little tapitas, your little tapas, your little tapas in here and be bougie and hand it out, you know, to people, hand it over to people. I thought that was really pretty. It's really dirty. I think it's going to be really pretty once it's shined up. But all of that, guys, was $4. And that's everything. Okay, that is everything. I am going to go scrub my hands down, take everything off this table, give this table a good uh, sanitation, sanitation. Okay, we're going to sanitate. We're going to sanitate the table, okay? Because the table is just full of germs now. Kid cat germs. I don't even allow my own cat this close to my table. And I done had stuff that other kitty cats have been around all over my table. So, yeah. I got to get with the Lysoling and cleansing of it all. But that's everything. Um, I'm going to get to putting this stuff away. 
and we're creeping up on six o'clock still many hours in the day to just chill out relax i gotta figure out what to make for dinner i'm feeling lazy honestly i ain't even gonna lie so it may be a chili dog day or hamburger helper day or something like that i don't know we'll see but until my next round, I hope you guys had a great weekend. And I wasn't kidding when I started off this video saying, were y'all praying for me? Y'all must have been praying for me because I feel so much better, guys. How I went from crying and not being able to move to feeling better. And like I said, I also attribute it to just not being hard-headed and letting other people help me around here. But I know y'all helped me. And if y'all did pray for me, didn't just say I'm praying for you, but actually prayed for me, like lifted my name. Thank you guys. Because I honestly believe something happened. Okay. It wasn't just me laying up in that bed. I believe something supernatural was happening in the realm of my body. This cuerpo, this cuerpazo, this big fluffy domain of mine. But I hope you all are having an awesome Sunday. Enjoy the rest of it. I hope you guys creep into a wonderful Monday. I hope the same for me. And um, I'll talk to you guys this week. I'm pretty sure because my first PT is on Thursday. I'm going to share that with y'all whether y'all want to hear it or not. Okay. We're going to talk about that. And the little dude graduates eighth grade on Thursday. And I'm so glad that I'm feeling better because I don't care if I had to use crutches, a wheelchair, a walker. Or if somebody was going to carry me into my son's 8th grade graduation, I'm definitely going to be there. So I might share some of that with you guys if y'all are interested. He's really excited. Last day of school is Friday, and I honestly think he may stay home. Only because people around here don't know how to act. It's always something going on locally at the last days of school. And I don't want my child to be any part of that. So he might just begin his summer break um, a little earlier. A day early. But anyway, I said I was going to let y'all go when I kept on talking. But until my next go around, thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me again. And I love y'all bunches. Bye.